Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of Delray Beach, Florida, with your 1 p.m. update. Currently, we have all U.S. indices trading to the upside. You got the Dow up 446 points, it's one and four tenths percent. The S&P one and a half percent, 65 points. The Nasdaq two and a quarter percent, 300 points. The upside, Russell's up a half a percent. The semis are up uh, three and a quarter percent, 99 points. Traders are up uh, one and a quarter percent. That's 183 points. Gold's off 30 bucks. Silver down 11 pennies. Lights recruit off five bucks. That's down five percent. 30 year Treasury is flat. It's trading out at 152.17. Let's go spend a little time. Take a look at our nine panel market update chart. We begin by taking a look at the ES mini. So, what do we know about the ES mini? The bottom signal and patterns uh, are still in place from February 24th. That has both the Rhodes momentum indicator bottom as well as a, um, a TD9 count. You can see a nice little rising trend line. Price pulled back yesterday, tested that trend line, tested it again this morning. That is held. Perhaps price is going to go make a run for the descending trend line out there. And that would take us up into the level of about 4381 or thereabouts. Before price gets through that, the next battleground for it is going to be the center of its daily profile. That's at 42.69. Spot volatility next panel number two is still above its 50-day exponential moving average. That's always a bearish directional indicator for the S&P 500, unless it's actually topped out there. Don't know whether it has or it hasn't. We take a look at the NQ. The NQ still has its TD9 count bottom. It has tested and rejected the February 24th low. It is back above its little rising trend line. That would suggest that price just simply might target the top of that February 24th level, and that's at the 13980. The US dollar index is just consolidating with inside its daily profile, support of 9829, resistance 9947. Gold is uh, pulled back and has tested the support level of its bullish structured profile. So yes, it's lower. But what it's doing is testing a key area of support. That's between 1920-60 and 1938-20. As long as that level holds, then we got a shot for price moving up to the 1989 or even back to the 2074 level. But if price closes below 1920-60, that's going to suggest to move back to its bearish structured or bullish structured weekly profile area. And that could take it 1810 to 1840. Silver's found support at the bottom of its daily profile, top of its new weekly profile. Lights week crew, got to watch the level of 9383, get below that, and it's going to head lower. Natural gas consolidated with inside its daily profile, and the 30 year Treasury testing so far rejecting its February lows. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. If you're off to start your Tuesday, have a terrific one. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you soon.